Hey, hey, good morning, friends. Welcome to another super awesome handyman log, handyman work video. I am so excited to have you guys here with me. Uh, today, we got some awesome work going on. We got a fully loaded schedule. Uh, both me and Frank and Micah are going to be out there working today. Um, me and Micah are heading out to a job this morning where we're going to be busting out concrete, replacing fence posts in an existing fence. Um, and then we're going to be heading out to Frank's uh, to do a whole bunch of other work. So excited about that. Excited to bring you guys along with me um, and just excited for it. But first off, we got to stop at Home Depot. We got to pick up some Sawzall blades um, because if you guys didn't know, this trailer that I'm pulling right now actually got stolen. Um, what was it? At the beginning of this year, we hadn't really needed to use it until now. So I've had to slowly, you know, rekindle tools. So on Black Friday, I bought a whole bunch of tools. Uh, one thing I didn't buy is Sawzall blades. Those got stolen. So I'm um, going to be buying those because I'm going to be needing those this morning. And then Micah's going to be bringing us the big old demo hammer from Frank. So we'll show you guys that. Super awesome tool. Excited to have you guys along. This is my day five back in the, back in the seat here after my son was born. And uh, day two of training Micah. So stay tuned for that. I know that a lot of people enjoyed that last video, so uh, or the the episode one video. Uh, so let's get to it. This is gonna be a good day. All right, friends, here's what we got. These two posts are completely shot. And it's funny, this house is only a year and a half old. So, kind of ridiculous, but we're gonna go ahead and get it fixed. Here's our weapon of choice here. Big old demo hammer. So let's get to it. Yeah. Holy cow. Mine is too. Is it like... Well, this house was only a half, one and a half years old. Sometimes when they build these things, they build them so quick, they put the concrete way below soil level. Because see, the uh, soil level is right here. Concrete wasn't until here, so all that water just collected. Sat on there. Yeah. So, kind of crazy, huh? Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> so rotten. I know, it's not even that old. Yeah, you can see the concrete. All right, we don't think we've ever seen it come apart this easy. It came apart pretty much in three pieces. Pretty crazy. So Mike is gonna get started on this guy.
All right, had to stop out to get new battery for the camera here for our full production. Uh, it's going good. Mike is about to set the first post right now. I'm having a little trouble with the other one just because that <clears throat> that post stub is in there. So I'm trying to cut it out, chip it out. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here. But uh, it's going pretty well thus far. Client came out, took a look. Everything's looking good. I'll show you guys what we got going on here. There's the man, Micah. <laughs> All right, so here's what we got. So here's the post that Mike is going to set. He's already cut that to height. And here's the one I got, where I got this guy stuck right now in the post. I'm trying to notch it with uh, my hacksaw. I'm trying to notch it with the hacksaw and then come back with this guy to split it the rest of the way. I got half of it out, you know. Um, just trying to work on the rest of it. Once I get that out, we'll be ready to set this post. There's the panel over there. So, pretty easy. Panel looks great. Again, this house is only a year and a half old, so kind of crazy. All right, here is our final product. We got these two posts installed. We got this guy here and this one over here. And what I had to do is when we put it back on, I had went over to the neighbor's side and basically reattached it from that side. So we're looking good, nice and sturdy. We got a few buckets here of concrete, so we'll have to dispose of those. So basically, right now, we just got to get cleaned up and get out of here and get out the Franks. All right, friends, here is our final look of the project turned out very well you can't even tell that we were here which is what we like so good job micah all right job well done guys me and micah banged that job out i can't believe how quickly we got it done two and a half hours for two posts that was really awesome so uh that job totaled to 768.73 we just got a check from the from the homeowner uh now we are heading over to frank's job so uh stay tuned because we are not done yet we're gonna have a lot more fun so let's do it guys Hey friends, we're here on the second job. Look at this view. Fantastic. Micah says he can he could settle to live here, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just beautiful. Beautiful. I'll put a little tea box right here and hit down to that. <laughs> Four. See if you can get a hole in the one out there. Looks awesome. Alright guys, so Frank is here at this job. He is inside doing a whole bunch of work. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and there's one outside job here at this house, basically uh, replacing a latch post for a gate. This is the post right here. 
Uh, we'll show you guys how wobbly it is. Like, it's pretty wobbly. So I'm thinking Micah can just yank that thing out of the ground. And uh, we can go from there, so. You think you can yank that thing out of the ground? Let's see. Let's see how strong you are. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. Nice work. All right, friends, here's what we got. We have, we look at the surrounding. We got a gas pipe that's going right into the ground right there. And we have a gas powered uh, water heater for the pool or for the hot tub. And so we've been down this road before. That gas line may be running right here, right underneath our post. So uh, by code, gas pipe is supposed to be run, at least in this area, at least 18 inches below the surface of the soil. So, uh, but we've been at one where we, you know, hit a gas line at 12 inches. So, and that was quite the job. So what we're thinking about doing is, Micah had the idea, which I think is a great idea, of building a form here on either side and basically building the concrete up about a half inch you know, lower than the, the surface of this concrete. So we're only gonna go down probably 14 inches here. And then we're gonna build up the concrete up a little bit higher than the, than the actual soil level. Go down. Um, so that's, that's the plan because we don't wanna hit a gas line. So that's the plan here. Yeah. Go down very carefully. Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna chip very gingerly. You know, we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna take our time here. <laughs> All right, here's our post set up. And what we got here is we got two two by fours. So we're gonna basically pour the concrete up to the top of these two by fours. Um, that's gonna give us a good base for that because we didn't wanna go any deeper than that because of that potential gas. So here we go. All right, friends, we got the whole crew here. We got Frank and Micah. And this is our little, uh, this is our beautiful work here. So basically we built it up so it's about an inch below the surface of the concrete. So I'd say job well done, guys. Yep. All right, now we're gonna let that cure. <laughs> what does Rick Burgess say? Comment Rick Burgess. Yeah, yeah, you know, comment Rick Burgess, please, guys. Yep. Rick Burgess. Yeah. One day you'll find out. <laughs> hey, maybe one day we'll get Frank to do story time of the time we hit that gas pipe. That would be pretty good. One time. You guys, leave in the comments if you guys want to hear that. Oof. All right. <laughs> all right, friends, we are all wrapped up here. Let me show you what we did. Uh, so we got everything all done. Let's get this gate closed. So what we did here is we replaced that latch post there. We got everything covered up. We did, we built that up an extra two inches down there. Um, and basically we went ahead and replaced this little latch cable just cause we do it with an actual wire rope. Um, she had a shoestring up there. So wire rope makes it a lot nicer. So we do that adds a kind of another, you know, set of niceness. One thing that we did note that we're telling the client is that uh, gate post is uh, already starting to wobble. So it'll, you know, probably in a little while she'll need us to come back and replace that. Um, but other than that, that all's looking good. Frank's all wrapped up here. He's inside just wrapping up one more thing. He's uh, done quite a bit of stuff here. He did a, a replacing an outlet with a USB outlet. Um, he did a bathroom vent fan and a few other items uh, for the client. Um, but other than that, we are all wrapped up here at this job. We are, uh, Mike is going to get materials for the other job that's at the office. And then we're gonna go head out to that one. But I think we're going to call this log uh, it right here. This job was a little bit over $1,000, so it was a good job. We are heading over to our next job right now, which is just a small, I think, $400 job or so. But uh, there we go.
There goes Micah, off to get some materials. So Micah's driving our new uh, 2007 Ford F-150. This one here is uh, Frank's 2006 U-Haul. I think it's a 12 foot U-Haul. Uh, you guys have seen that in past uh, work videos. And then I am driving our 99 Ford F-150 with a five by eight enclosed trailer on the back of it. This trailer is great. I bought it uh, maybe when I was two, three years into the business and we just decaled it just this year. But it's a great little trailer. The only thing that I would change about it is uh, that it's not very tall. You can't stand up in it. But other than that, it holds everything that we need. Um, got it all built out. Got some videos on that. I'll, I'll put those up in the video there so you guys can check them out. Um, man, we have done a lot of fence posts today. There's got to be an easier way to do fence posts. <laughs> so, anyways, let me know what you guys think about this vlog, guys. Leave me a comment in the comment section below, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Have a great day, guys.